And welcome to your gold market update for today, the 26th of October 2022. Mike Smith, senior analyst of gold markets here to take you around what has been an eventful 24 hours in the US and locally. US equities followed through for a third successive day of gains as earnings before the open come in positively. However, the after the bell earnings from big tech, notably Google and Microsoft, missed expectations and see after hours trading minus 2% on the NASDAQ. US futures, as we've said, are lower in Asian trading on the back of tech earnings. That has had an impact on the Dow to a lesser degree, which is just mildly negative, but the S&P 500 is also fairly significantly down in excess of 1%. Asian indices trading cautiously following that strong US close, and the ASX was up around about 0.4%, but it's given that all up after some strong inflation data has just come across the wires. A little while ago, it's now trading just above neutral. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly higher open. Uh, the US dollar index is trading in neutral. Gold is holding 16.50 in a volatile session. Again, all this remains range bound and copper futures have pulled back to 340. The VIX is edged below that key 30 level and continues to drop very slowly on the back of those relatively good earnings. Bitcoin is testing 20,000 at the top of the recent range. As we've already said, the Australian CPI data came out hot. There is some US housing data later, but again, the major focus is going to be on earnings with Boeing, Kraft Heinz and Meta or Facebook amongst the highlights of the latter, of course, coming in after the bell. Let's see a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. And we're going to start with the Australian dollar. And you can see that oh, we're going to start with the Australian dollar. You can see there that key level around about 64 that we've been referencing over the last few days. A possible range bound trading down to around about 63. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see there, there was that inflation number that came out. But you can see it wasn't enough, so somewhat surprisingly, to break through 64. It did test it and has moved down. And this potentially creates an opportunity to the downside with around about 36 to 40 pips possible till we hit next resistance at around about 63.40 from where we're trading right now so that's an interesting response to data which should have theoretically done the opposite because of course it gives the green light to the reserve bank of australia to raise rates again on the stock front igo in the lithium space are looking positive again they are off the highs of the session on the back of that inflation number that came out but over that 1630 key level at this stage. There may be some benefit from the car manufacturer General Motors that released very positive earnings yesterday in the US. So I may be seeing a lithium response to that. Uh, and that's maybe why IGO is trading where it is. Very worthwhile just seeing how the day progresses following that inflation data before making any significant moves so the back end of the market day may be worth having a look at. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.